What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Run Man. I'm back with another video. How you guys doing? If you're new to the channel, you already know what to do, man. Go and subscribe to the channel. If you're not sure, go look at some of my other videos. I'm sure you will join shortly. Look, guys, we're back with another video from my sister Candace Owens. Uh, not too long ago, uh, Bud Light sponsored Dylan Mulvaney. You guys know I've done videos on Dylan before. Uh, Matt Walsh videos, Candace Owens videos. But yeah, so Kid Rock, the great musician, the great patriot, the great American, Kid Rock had an incredible response to Bud Light. Yes, I'm sure he did. So let's see what he said and let's get Candace Owens' uh, thoughts on it. We'll give ours as well. Let's get right into the video, guys. Let's start with some actual men, some real modern day heroes who are taking a stance when they see something as abhorrent as Dylan Mulvaney, who is mocking women full time. He's an actor. Mm -hmm. He has always been an actor. And this, I think, is probably his greatest act. Well, I will tell you that Kid Rock did not like the fact that Bud Light decided to partner or sponsor, whatever it was. They created a can for Dylan Mulvaney, a special can to commemorate his 365 days of girlhood, 365 days of being a pervert, of desiring to dress like a little girl and have little girl experiences. Um, and Kid Rock, after learning that Bud Light, which is a drink that he apparently likes, had partnered with him, did not just take a strong stance. He made an incredible video, and I would like to show you that video now. Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. That is him shooting Bud Light cans in an open field. Bud Light. Now, you guys know I am a advocate of gun ownership, gun safety, Second Amendment. Love, 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 love the gun he used there. Uh, and we got the message, Kid Rock. Uh, I'm, I stand with you, brother. Uh, I, I think what Bud Light did is what a lot of other companies and corporations are doing, um, which is, you know, what, I mean... Why, I don't, this is what I don't understand. If you support Dylan and you think what he's doing, what he does is okay for whatever reason, that's your right. That's your right. But those who think what Dylan is doing is a little mentally ill and just a little <laughs> I'll say goes against what we believe um, I mean we have that right too but to give this person an image on your can on your product that most people who buy your product I mean but like clearly chose a side right and it's not about size, really. You know what? It is. It is. Because I think now, man, we're getting to a point where people don't know right from wrong. Uh, what's delusional. You know, it, it's up, down, left, right. <laughs> it's like putting in a cheat code for the game, right? Nah, man. Uh, but no, hey. Brother Kid Rock, a uh, fan, been a fan for a long time before I got into politics or paid attention, I would say. Uh, we got the message, brother. Great message. Great way to get your point out. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but no, let's, let's finish the video, guys. I got more to say about it, but I just wanted to comment on him taking out his firearm. And just letting it rip. <laughs> Anheuser Bush. 
Have a terrific day. <laughs> Just absolutely love that. When I saw that, I was like, yes, bring back mm. manly men. Because you know what manly men do? They defend women. They defend women when they're being mocked. And that's exactly what Kid Rock is doing. And he is not the only person with the platform to take a stance. We also have Travis Tritt, one of the greatest voices in country music, who has decided not to just privately boycott Anheuser-Busch, which allegedly a lot of country music stars are doing, but he wanted to take a public stance, and he tweeted this. He tweeted, I will be deleting all Anheuser-Busch products from my tour hospitality writer. I know many other artists who are doing the same. Other artists who are deleting Anheuser-Busch products from their hospitality writer might not say so in public for fear of being ridiculed and canceled. I have no such fear. In full disclosure, I was on tour sponsored by Budweiser in the 90s. That was when Anheuser-Busch was American-owned, a great American company that later sold out to the Europeans and became unrecognizable to the American consumer. Such a shame. And he has also... Well, shout out to you, Mr. Tritt. Uh, not really familiar with your work, um, but shout out to you. Uh, I think it's necessary for people to speak out and stand up against things that they believe are wrong. I mean, you know, this whole idea that, you know, we just allow certain things to just happen without even speaking on it. And certain celebrities and certain people in the public don't speak on things like because of, you know, fear of losing uh, their monetary gain and, you know, uh, losing, you know, money. Really, that's what it comes down to. So, shout out to you. Uh, that That's definitely what being a patriot is all about. Standing up for what's right and what we believe is right. And, um, you know, I, I I mean, I used to be a butt like guy when I used to drink a lot. Um, now, I may have some wine or uh, uh, my beer of choice. Uh, it's definitely not butt like. So, <laughs> they're not going to uh, miss or me even commenting, you know, um, but just those products in general. I think they uh, do Bud, Bud Light, Bud, anything with Bud in front of it. I'm not sure. But the point is, um, when you have someone like Dylan Mulvaney, who clearly is insulting women, who's clearly just... Yeah, we all know what he's doing. Um, but uh, I, I'm glad we still have some some men who are willing to, uh, especially those in position, to to speak on certain things and keep our country strong, man. Keep out what we feel needs to be at least uh, 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 contested. You know, it's not hate against Dylan. It's not hate. It's simply respecting women. It's simply respecting others' uh, traditional values and what they believe. You want people to respect what you are or what you do and what you believe, you should do the same. That's it. So no hate. But you guys, uh, let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about it. Do you think what Kid Rock... It was cool. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was it was liberating for me to see that. Uh, <laughs> but shout out to Candace for reporting this, guys. Go support her. She's dope. I always tell you guys that. Support the people who videos I react to. Because I don't want to, you know, not give them the respects uh, that they deserve, you know, so shout out to you, Candice, keep doing what you're doing, and you guys, again, in the comments, no hate, we don't do hate over here, we can talk about it, you know, people are commenting all types of crazy things about me, you know, it's okay, I, I, I don't mind, and I try to respond to everyone, you know, but even the craziness, I'll, I'll, I'll give you uh, the attention you're looking for. But no, I love you guys, man. Go support Candace. Uh, support Kid Rock. 
and let's talk about it down in the comments. Also, guys, hit that thumbs up button down below. Share this video with your friends, man. Let's talk about it. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. And it's your boy, Ron, man. This is Trigger Reactions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.